Hey, good morning everyone. It's Mark and I'm up here on the Bruce and thanks for joining me. It's uh, Saturday, last day of the trip. And as you can see behind me, gates are finished. So as I like to say, uh, mission accomplished in this project. And I gotta say, they look they look great. Super happy with how this all turned out. So let's, uh, let's take a quick closer look at that. Okay, yeah, so there we go. Uh, gates are in. Uh, of course, cement work is done. Uh, post, everything turned out turned out awesome. Got the guy wires in. I actually painted the guy wires so they kind of blend in. And that, you know, so obvious with, you know, stainless steel wires and hardware back there. Um, I don't know, what can I say? Uh, we got a couple of little solar lights up on top just to mark the corners of the posts or tops of the posts and uh yeah everything everything's been great poured the cement on wednesday and uh, everything's been supported up until this morning uh, when i leave i do have some supports made up i am going to uh, re-support the center of the gates i probably won't be up here for a month so it'll be a full cure on the concrete by the time i get back up but uh oh, look at that <laughs> the wind Helping us out. Nice, nice swing on that one. And uh, yeah, this one too. I got the guy wires in there. If you can see that, a little bit hard to see since I painted everything. But uh, posts are supported in both directions. So if there's any type of load, any shifting or settling on that post over the winter, then um, everything's supported. It's not gonna sag, sag the gate. And I can just, because the turnbuckles are out here, Near the end of the post, it's just it's going to be an easy, you know, just come up and feel the tension on the wire rope and uh, see if I have to tighten up that turnbuckle at all. So, yeah. One thing I need to do, well, that's an easy swing. One thing I need to do down here is uh, just going to make a little leg. Screw it into the tree there so it supports the, supports the gate as well when it's in the open position. Weld something up and get it galvanized just to take a bit of that weight off while well, it's open. So um, yeah, whether I'm gonna put a wheel kit on the end or not, uh, we'll have to see. I mean, it's certainly easy to open. Um, it's a 10 foot gate. So uh, whether the wheel gate will be necessary, hmm, time will tell. So, but, uh, yeah, just super happy with it all turned out. I gotta say, like, the whole what, six days up here, um, couldn't ask for better weather. Just just nailed it. Um, you know, 12 to 23 degrees during the day and from four to nine degrees at night. So, uh, couldn't, uh, you know, you can't plan on that. You can, you know, kind of plan and prepare for everything else, but you gotta work with what Mother Nature gives you. And after that first day of coming up in the in the rain, things things certainly improved in a hurry. So next stage, next part. Well, we got to widen out the driveway. So we're gonna get uh, some gravel work done in here. We're gonna widen this out to 20 feet. Kind of got some things marked out along the side where we're gonna bring the gravel out to. And yeah, this looks different. If you've been following along, all the firewood is gone. Took it over to Mountain Trout Camp, dropped it off to Mike over there, so he's quite grateful for that. And uh, Kevin, Kevin took a, a trailer full, which works out to almost two two face cords of wood. He took that between the trees that we dropped and another half cord that was stacked up here and dry. He's quite happy to have that wood to take back with him. So I'll talk to Mike over at Mountain Trout Camp, and maybe if we need a place to stay for a couple of days, he can he can set us up. Um, you know, the other side of that is I'm, I'm going to need the space for a lot more wood. So it, it kind of works out okay. Uh, I saved a little bit here for campfires and cooking. Um, going to blow out this kind of cedar wall and extend this gravel area back probably another 30, 35 feet. Um, so that's going to be a nice turnaround. And then that's where the little, uh, we're going to get a trailer um, during the, the build. Have to get a trailer permit. And just get a you know a junky old trailer, something we can stay in during the build. So 
So yeah, got a big pile of brush here to chip. And then this side of the parking lot area, parking area is gonna get blown out as well. It's just basically underneath the tree line it's gonna go. So gonna have lots of parking. Um, you know, for thoughts about the bed and breakfast and guests coming up and contractors and trucks uh, backing in here. It's gonna be lots of space. So yeah, I already started some uh, firewood for, I guess, next year. Um, let me see, what else can I tell you? Well, it was a success. Uh, one, one thing I think I definitely fell short on was um, making content, trying to keep everyone up to date was with the project and um you know when you get into things and you know you're trying to keep a step ahead okay now we got to get the sono tube now we got to get the concrete now you know we got to get the post and then you get back and then you know you start doing that kind of work and then you know you wake up in the morning and it's like okay let's get on the concrete let's get that done because the sooner that's done you know then we need a couple days at least for for it to start to cure before we can even think about doing anything on those posts. So, uh, unfortunately, not a lot of time um, to get the camera set up and and follow that process along. But um, you know, it's it's finished. Uh, the goal the goal was to get that big step done, and it's finished. And and uh, you know, big shout out to my buddy Kevin. You might have seen him coming and going, kind of on the other videos, but uh, you know. A carpenter, a millwright, uh, just a you know a well-rounded set of skills, and and just a, you know a good a good buddy that you can count on. So yeah, anyhow, I'm all loaded up here. Um, everything's knocked down, put away. Definitely taking less down than what we brought up, so that's nice. Just got to close up the outhouse, and uh, yeah, the tents down, the wood stoves packed away. Uh, do a few things with the trail cameras and uh, blow out of here so probably another month and we'll be back up maybe with the family next time but uh yeah anyhow just wanted to give you a little update let you know how it all turned out and we are off now headed to the south which uh you know it'd be nice obviously nice to get home and see the family um yeah the rest of that blah in a few years hopefully we won't have to worry about that but for now uh, thanks for watching uh, like always, uh, leave a comment, give us a thumbs up, and uh, certainly we appreciate any, any subscribers that want to follow this process along. Okay, have a great day. Got some uh, bon bonus footage for you guys. I almost forgot about this. Gosh, I kicked myself if I was halfway home and forgot this step. So up here this time of year, you have wild leek growing. And... Uh, Got trilliums. We're just starting to open up this morning. Got trilliums all over the forest here. It's it can be like a carpet of white and red, and sometimes some pink. But um, the things that stand up a little bit higher in here, this is leek, wild leek, and it's a really mild kind of onion garlic taste, and it goes uh, goes super good with potatoes in a soup. Oh, if I can get those guys. So there's you know millions of them in here. I don't I don't ever take the whole like like planting here, the whole little colony. I'll maybe take half of it so you don't wipe it right out and they'll reproduce. Um, or multiply I guess is the word. But <laughs> there's I don't know millions, trillions on the property here. I'm gonna look for some bigger ones. But uh, yeah, so those are wild leek. So we'll make some uh, leek and potato soup when we get home and I give that to some friends. Martin's been after me for some. And uh, yeah, I almost forgot, but I gl I'm glad it crossed my mind just at the last minute. So that's all you do. You just walk out into the forest and, and uh, dig out some leeks and uh, just beautiful seasonal soup. Uh, Anyhow, just a little tidbit there, a little bonus footage. And uh, yeah, here's the forest, and you can kind of see all the trilliums off in the, off in the distance there. Just beautiful, beautiful time of year. Uh, the leaves are probably like 50% out, but you still got just a wonderful uh, field, like vision, range of vision through the forest.
It's just amazing. Love it. Could probably just spend the rest of the day hiking around. Kevin and I went for a nice hike last night through the forest and uh, black flies were almost non-existent at that time. Well, I'd say they were even. We got home, we got back about 8.30 or so. And uh, yeah, I could hear the sandhill cranes and some turkeys and uh, just, yeah, it was a really nice hike. Anyhow, that's it. Talk to you later. Thank you.